This item has been in the mailbag queue since my previous address, so... Oh, what's this? Oh, a whole bunch of pots. I thought they were switches for a second. And wire cutters. So these are the ones that say Plato on it, Model 170. And those are the ones I've been using. Same model, but having a spare. Since I found I use them a lot, I wanted spares for the day that these get a little too blunt or chewed up if I'm cutting thick wires or something for too long. While we're up here, I got a few sets of these at Princess Auto when they were on sale maybe a couple of months ago. So there's three different sizes, 18, 12, and 8 inch magnets. I figured I can put these all over the place, make good use of them. And because this is so long ago, I don't remember. There's a bunch of packages of these pots, so I don't know if they're all the same. B503, I don't know if that's supposed to tell me the value, but this will. I'll call that a 50k pot. So 503, 50k. 104, 504, 500k? Let's just double check this last one. Well, 450, so it's probably a 500. So I don't remember if maybe I just wanted a variety of values, possibly for PCB stuff, I guess if I cut off these side terminals, I could maybe fit that down in a breadboard. So later I'll see if those fit into a breadboard, but I'll keep it in mind for PCB projects. This... Oh, that's what those are. B0505S1 watt. Those are the isolated switching regulators. So these have 5 volts in and 5 volts out with 1 watt. I've used these on a bunch of things just to get a separated ground connection from the rest of the circuit if I don't want any electrical connection between two parts of a design. And these are also available in various combinations between 3.3 volts all the way to 24 volts for this form factor, I believe. So you can step up and step down in different combinations. As long as you don't need too much current on your load and you just want something isolated. So I just thought I would stock up because I have used them in several different things. And they can also be used because the outputs are isolated as if they are little independent batteries or cells. So you can connect them in series and increase the voltage, although keeping in mind limited current capabilities. Or if you're doing some breadboard op-amp experiments, you can take one of these to give an isolated 5 volts and then just turn it into a negative 5 volt rail for an op-amp. Just like turning a battery the other way around, it becomes a negative voltage. This is something I ordered only a couple of weeks ago, and I wanted it for an upcoming PCB project, so it's good that it didn't take too long. It was within less than three weeks. PT8211. That's just a little 8-pin surface mount chip, which is an I2S stereo audio output DAC. So it can run from 3.3 volts and a bit clock, word select, and data in. And then it has a left and right audio out that can go to an amplifier for stereo sound. So this is a simple chip. It's got 16-bit audio, but it is only an R to R resistor ladder style of DAC, so the quality may not be as high as any other I squared S DAC. And that's part of what I was interested in looking at. How would the signals look on a scope if I'm generating a sine wave or something from an ESP32 using this compared to a regular audio DAC I've got on other breakout boards? And if this works out okay, 
I've got some other plans to use this for with other projects dealing with audio. On the topic of audio and preamps and filters, these two packages should be a through hole and a surface mount op amp LM324, which is a quad op amp and is supposed to be similar enough to the LM358 dual op amp that I have used a lot in various PCBs. Whether using it just as a simple audio amplifier with gain or an active filter circuit. Sometimes I need more than two op amps, so going to a quad package may save a little space. So I stuck with the LM358 series, hoping the 324 works similarly because I've tried other op amps for different things like maybe a TL082 or 072, maybe TLV, TLC series. But depending what I'm doing, often I can't use certain other op amps. For example, if there's going to be capacitance involved connected to the output of it, I think the TL082 says it can handle maybe up to 300 picofarads. But if I have a circuit with capacitors in the nanofarad range, often I'll see on the scope I get a flat line out because it's loaded down too much for the op amp. Then I just swap in a 358 and the signal comes back. So I just keep coming back to this kind of part for now. Because the stuff I'm doing is not that critical. The only thing is I lose some headroom from the positive rail. If I'm running at a single 5 volt supply, I might only be able to get 3.5 to 4 volts max out. But I've tried using certain rail to rail op amps before to try and get up to 5 volts out, except the capacitors swamp the output. So I'm back to the 358. This is something else I ordered recently. There it is. The UV test cards that I ordered back a while ago when I got this surface mount UV LED that I was using to erase EEPROMs. So it mentions being able to test UVC, UVA. So this one just says UV and then UVC. I got two different styles just in case one works better than the other. So I got the LED before I got these cards and I already know the LED puts out UVC so now this is just something to have on hand for other things in the future like if I get different LEDs. But I'm gonna see if this will respond to the LED. So dimming the lights, I can momentarily connect power to this LED with these alligator clips and a series resistor. The LED is facing away from me. Looking in the camera, oh look at that! I can turn that on and off. UVC! I don't want to mess around with that too long. But now I know these cards work and I can definitely detect UVC. So I think these PT8211 I squared S DACs are going to probably be the next thing I put to use. Then I want to try these LM324 op amps on the breadboard and make sure they can handle capacitors used in filter circuits without getting bogged down. Otherwise, restocking some stuff with the help of support from Patreon and channel members.